going funky. Go funky. Hey everyone, it's me, Al Tuckerman. Welcome to the top five Scott Coffin games. I have only one rule for this list. Just one rule. No Five Nights at Freddy's. No Five Nights at Freddy's 1. No Five Nights at Freddy's 2. No FNAF 3 or 4. Just anything but Five Nights at Freddy's because too many people like that game. Some people don't like it and... I just really feel like it's best to leave that out. And if I do another one in the future, another top five list of Scott Coffin games in the future, I will probably include it. But for this video, no Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, let's get it straight into it. Go. Number five. Sit and survive. Sit and survive is a very simple game. You, you go through as many days as you can. Well, I'm actually not sure. If, I don't remember if there's a limited amount of days. But you go as long as you can by using materials for a certain day. And, uh, you know, surviving. I don't exactly remember how you get um, all the things you need to survive. But it's a really cool game. And you should definitely go try it out. Number four. There is no pause button. There is no pause button is, well, as you probably guess from the title of the game I mean there is no pause button so as you can probably tell this is a rage game there is no pause button all there is is a jump button and that's it so have fun feeling many times because you were going to probably <laughs> number three the desolate hope if you're looking for a really good Scott Coffin game about robots, besides Five Nights at Freddy's, then The Desolate Hope is just for you. It's very creative, especially considering you're a robot walking around as a coffee machine. I like it. And you'll like it too, I promise. I don't have much to say about this game really, all I have to say is, it's amazing. Number 2, 8-Bit RPG Creator. In this game, you can create your own character out of 8-Bit, your own weapons out of 8-Bit, and pretty much everything is 8-Bit. Now, I do believe that this is one of Scott Coffin's games that uh, isn't available anymore. It's not even on Game Joel, I don't think. But I do remember playing it a while back, and it was really fun. I'm just letting you know that I'm not putting this game on the list just because it looks good. I actually played it once. Next. No way I haven't showed you enough gameplay footage yet. Enjoy this music with gameplay footage. I almost forgot to... I almost left that part out. I'm so bad at videos. Number one, the Pilgrim's Proze Progress, the video games. I almost couldn't say that right. That's embarrassing. The Pilgrim's Progress is actually my very, uh, no, I'm not kidding. It's my favorite Scott Cawthon game because, well, it has to do with, well, Christianity. I mean, I know, Five Nights at Freddy's is a good game, and if I ever make another top five Scott Coffin games list, Final Nights at Freddy's will probably be in it. But even then, it'll probably be number two, not number one. It's a beautiful game, 
beautiful graphics, and I love it. Once again, I think this is one of those games that isn't available anymore, but I did play it once, and it was amazing. Thank you. What is this place? This is a place built by God for pilgrims such as yourself. 